I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing anymore? <sighs> this quarantine is driving me insane. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've vlogged and no, nothing's changed. I'm still quarantined, still stuck in my room. But I have been trying to think of something to do aside from playing Minecraft and stuff like that. But yeah, I still want to take photos. Like I really just want to go out, take photos, but you know, at the same time, trying to be safe. So how can I still stay creative? How can I still do the thing that I enjoy, which is taking photos? And I figured, you know, I might show you guys a bit of what I do for work, which is obviously taking photos for businesses and stuff. Okay, so yeah, what I do for work is I basically take photos for a lot of businesses, mainly in the food industry. So I currently do a lot of photos for bubble tea places. And um, right now they're doing a lot of products regarding like their personal tea blends and stuff like that. And one of my clients is releasing their matcha blend. So I kind of want to try doing some product photography with matcha. And I recently just came across this account called Rias Tyler. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but his account, it mainly takes photos of shoes, but it looks really cool. Like the color coordination is on point, the items and props and stuff is just, it's sick. So I was kind of inspired to try something like that with this matcha packet. So let's try doing some product photography. So yeah, going along with the theme of matcha, I want to see if I can pair it with the color green and maybe some other props as well. So yeah, I'm probably going to add a matcha whisk, which is what they use to stir the matcha properly. I'm also going to grab a packet of Asian brand matcha because I don't want to ruin the initial packaging because, you know, obviously don't want to ruin it for the photo. And some spoons for the sort of white color Thing, I don't know but yeah this is this is gonna be the thing maybe I think this is this is what I'm gonna need surprisingly enough I don't actually have like a proper studio space or setup to actually take photos but obviously that's shouldn't stop you from creating or doing any kind of product photography um, so what I've got is like this white board that I can use as like a clean backdrop um, and yeah I'm just using on this like little like little table stand looking thing um, and I'm just using that as my stand. I kind of wish I had like a bigger board of paper, like green paper, just so I can do like the actual flat lay type of style photo. I think I'm just gonna stick with a nice like straight on kind of depth shot. I think I'm gonna go with a depth shot. It's gonna be tricky doing like a flat lay because you're gonna have like that seam of the two papers connecting, but yeah. I mean, I can give it a try, but we'll see. All right, so the paper's there, the matcha. I'll do this. Oh, actually, sushi mat as well. I don't know why, but just because Rise Tyler also uses a lot of like sushi mats as well, and it adds to like that Oriental theme. So screw it. <laughs> So that is what the current setup looks like. So if I did try to do a top shot, that's what it would look like, which is actually pretty good. I kind of like that. I think all that's left to add would probably be some lighting. So let's do that right. Okay, yes, this may look really bright to you only because I haven't changed my ISO, but um, when I'm taking photos, this should look a lot more balanced. But yeah, I'm literally just, I balance one light on this, on this doorknob and I'm holding a light as well. So yeah, hopefully that's, gonna look good. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, I think I'm done trying to do top lay photography. It's really hard holding the camera because it, it weighs down. And, I mean, I could use a tripod, but my tripod doesn't do like the top down thing. Um, but yeah, top lay, I think it looks okay. But yeah, I think I'm going to try doing the straight on shot now. So I'm going to create some depth using the props and then having the product either in the background or in the in the middle ground. And yeah, let's just see how that goes. Okay, I've already messed up by spilling matcha. Uh, I'm just trying to like, you know, create, I don't know, some sort of mess. I don't know, some sort of looking, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing anymore? <sighs> This quarantine is driving me insane. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to go on a road trip.
Obviously, if we're gonna take photos of matcha, we might as well drink some as well. But yeah, anyway, so the photos. I actually don't do that much product photography, only recently because a lot of the businesses that I work for started releasing products that they can send out for people at home during quarantine, which is a great idea for businesses. And yeah, I definitely encourage you guys to support your small businesses. And yeah, let me know if you wanna see me make a video for how I get work in photography. So yeah, anyway, product photography with this packet of matcha. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's got black, it's white, and it's got very faint green. So yeah, some tips that I've learned through doing product photography is definitely find some inspiration or do your research about the product itself. So yeah, when you're doing research and finding inspiration, you definitely have to think about what the product is, the colors, the properties, the type of thing that it is, whether it's like a toy, whether it's a food item, whether it's a car, you know, think about the location, think about the colors. Colors are very important. <laughs> so yeah, for me, it was Ryus Tyler that inspired me to sort of do that uh, oriental using the props that sort of match. And another tip is to not be afraid of trying different sort of ideas and playing around with your props and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up this little product photography vlog. I know it's a short one, but hopefully you learned something. And if you want to see the photos, check me out on Instagram at TobyTrin underscore. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you want. And as always, continue to create. And I'll see you in the next one.